G'day guys, how's it going? I've been flat out all morning. Got my saw blades cleaned up with a bit of CMT blade cleaner. First time I ever used that stuff. Stinks quite a lot, but seems to have worked. If you have a look, they're all nice and shiny now. And now I'm changing over the knives on my helical head in my thicknesser here because as I said yesterday, we've got a lot of machining to do today. I change these knives out every Christmas, so once a year. Seems to work well enough for me. These are these are carbide inserts, so they're not, they're not super blunt at the moment, but they're also not super sharp. So I'll bring my timber from over there to here and then we'll joint them, flatten them, send them through the thickness set, all to the tune of whatever music follows after this. When I was designing this baby cot, I made sure that all of my Tassie Oak thin panels were all going to be 20mm thick. So now, it doesn't matter what this panel is or that panel is, I can send them through the thickness that it would be finishing at 20mm and they're all going to be good. However, because these are light gauge machines, it's only a 3 horsepower motor running a helical head. It can't take off that much material, I can't take off 3 or 4mm in any given stage. So what I need to do is I need to go through these boards and get a get the biggest size the biggest thickness that I can find here and that'll be where I start it and then I'll work my way down from there my biggest size is about 24 mil so I'll set my 
thicknesses of 24 mil and I'll just do a skim pass to begin with and then I can then I know that all the boards are 24 mil or less and that way I can move down from there. So let's fire up the Dusty, crank up some tunes and get this party started again. Yeehaw! <laughs> So now for the final pass, I'm going to flip the boards over and thickness the jointed face because the thicknesser gives me a more consistent feed speed and it gives me a cleaner cut, even though this cut's not that bad. It just gets a slightly better cut from the thicknesser, so I'm going to flip them all over. So now using my handy dandy tape measure, I need to figure out what all of these panels are because some of them are getting ripped in half, some of them are getting ripped into three, some of them are getting ripped into four if I've got enough space. So I've got myself a cutting list here. I just need to go through it and match it up to the panels. Slats. So now with that sorted, I can go to the saw and rip them through again, bring them back over to the jointer joint one edge to make it perfectly straight and then put the other edge through the thickness so I get two machined edge, two machined edges perfectly parallel to the right thickness and it's a machined edge rather than a sawn edge. Machined edges are much better than sawn edges, trust me.
know it looks like it's another failed day. But I got all the timbers machined, well most of them are timbers machined, and here I've mocked this up. These are the front rails that will go in front of the mattress down, down low. It looks bloody awesome. I'm really happy with the way that's worked out. And then of course we've got this piece. I love this piece of timber so much. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And these are going to be some of the main pieces there. I'll put up another graphic as to where it's going to go. But, as I said yesterday, I was going to get all sorts of things done, but nothing got done. Well, except for the machining. I got them machined. I didn't get them cut to length properly. I didn't get anything drilled out for the dowels. I didn't glue anything up. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't do 10% of what I said I was going to do. So, I guess you guys can cut my head off. Go for it. Ouch! Oh. Come on guys, throw a big knife at me. Oh. Bigger than that. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't press that big red button. Oh gosh. Now what am I supposed to do? I'm going to be walking around here like a headless chook tomorrow. Oh well, Merry Christmas because it's Christmas tomorrow and... I might get a video up tomorrow, I might not, I'm not too sure. I'll have to find my head, see where my head's at. See yous.